Dude, I look so bad right now. It's the white, like, and look at that mountain. Do you, I love when the clouds, like, you can see the clouds covering the mountain and you're like not even that high up. I feel like we're in a jungle. Airport knows I'm Alley Cat. It's kind of awkward. I'm a DJ, bro. I'm a DJ, bro. They got weed at the snack bar. <laughs> I'm sending my mom a selfie. <laughs> That's good. I like it. <laughs> um, is this on point five right now? Are you point five in me? <laughs> I want to start reviewing breakfast burritos everywhere. Did she say three times? <laughs> Um, I didn't know this, but there's not Chick-fil-A's in every airport, which is honestly a disgrace. I'm starting to think like if I'm gonna do these vlogs, I should probably wear makeup at the airport because I look like a toe right now. Brian's making business calls. Big business. Sure it's oh. <laughs> Brian's making business calls. His mom's a tourist too. Oh. Tourist queen. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. I am on a quest to find pickles, like craving them right now. I mean, I'm never not craving them, but I really want some, like a pickle right now. So I'm gonna go find a pickle. I literally take like, like 30 minutes. Dude, you do have to get so close to my face. Like, is that necessary? 30 minutes, like, three or four times a day to just like respond to all of you guys. And it's worth it. Like, I like talking to you guys. You guys are like super chill. Thank you. Ah. Where are we right now? We're in Vegas. We're about to be in Vegas next weekend too. <laughs> but for now, it's just a layover. Yeah, we're gonna go get some food. Yeah, we're gonna go get some food. So tired, dude. I literally, I'm off three hours of sleep. I'm off that Chick-fil-A Sandy. So obviously I knocked the out. What else do I need to tell you? Oh, sorry, okay. You put the lime in it. TV cribs. My name is Ali Cat, and this is my crib. Things that you can push like this that make the blinds go up and down. Hell yeah. That's the wrong button. Damn it. Um. Read up. Um. I'm on Reddit reading DJs. What's the worst thing that has happened to you at a show, and how did you fix it? <laughs> no, like it's really weird. Like sometimes it makes me feel better to like hear about other people's ups while playing live so that i realize that messing up isn't the end of the world if it happens it just makes me feel a little less alone because i get really anxious before shows the show is like a lot better like before compared to the other shows right what was i like like in vegas and in la before the show nervous wreck pounding white claws <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't pounding them, but I was trying to take the edge off. You're just like, am I okay? Is everything gonna be okay? No, I literally am like, every time before show, I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fine, right? Right, B? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, how do you know? <laughs> he's like, I just know you. I'm like, what does that mean, though? <laughs> like, how do you know that I'm gonna be fine? Like, tell me. I need facts. I need concrete evidence. show in Chicago. Anakin, thank you for, you know, being the first person to take a risk and bring her out here and, and, and believe in it early. Sonaz, Carlos, thanks for coming out and surprising her. I know it means the world to her. Uh, it's going to be an incredible show. I'm so happy and proud of you. Let's go. Yeah! Let's go! Oh my God. Oh my God. Cheers. You want to ask me about my 
that shirt? What shirt is that? Why is that? Why are you wearing that? It's the show. It's for my show. Where are you playing tonight? Chicago, baby. Bay Station. I'm so excited. Let's Ooh. go. I just turned the light off by accident. I'm nervous, but let's get it. No, oh, literally. Like, like, not even like a basement. Like, 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 like she played in oh, Vegas. Like, oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, Everyone. Alley Cat. Okay. Which was your favorite drop of the night? Honestly, I think religion is honestly always one of my favorite drops to play live because that's the one people know the most and they sing along. It was one of my favorite too. Thank you. But I also like write back a lot because it's a new one and people actually knew the words. And it went fucking hard. It went so hard. And I also want to give a huge shout out to the one who took a chance on me and brought me out to Chicago for the first time. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. How do you feel about tonight? Do you feel amazing? <laughs> no more? No, how do you feel? I swear I had a great time. <laughs> now we're getting tacos. And we're really hungry and I... Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Where are we? We're, We're at the Starbucks Reserve. <laughs> I'm so excited. Me too. Because I love coffee. It's 
especially Starbees, and it's the entire day better. Yo, who's gonna eat That's this awesome. meatball? Pigeons are not wild, they're feral, which means they were domesticated before, you know, like there was civilization back in the day where we used them as carrier pigeons and then we just disregarded them and they don't know what to do, they're not even wild, even and so they don't do. even know what to do. <laughs> and so technically it's legal for you to pick up a pigeon and take it home as a pet, to good to a pigeon and feed it and like take care of it. You should absolutely kidnap a pigeon. And that's how I feel. Jump. <laughs> There's so much space and everyone's so respectful at the same time. No, that's what I love about this scene. It's like fucking cool as shit. I'm yeah. so enthralled by this whole fucking everything. It's great, honestly. I, honestly, I always have like a really, really good time. We're sitting because it's like kind of in a bowl, so you can sit on the sides and still see everything perfectly. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's Carlos, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> Spectacular. Everybody, everybody do this! <laughs> Come on! She got it. She knows what she's doing. So it's a variation, but... Oh, she had the dab. She's doing a more classy version. I just look like a noodle. Potassium really get low. <laughs> Us. It's us? Oh my god, no! Who makes marshmallows? Hey! Yeah, dude, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. I know. It looks like you're hungry. Yeah, you was like, no, I literally would have so many. No, I know. Okay, so we're about to go to like the biggest Starbucks home. The entire world. The whole world. And you know I love my stuff. I'm definitely gonna get us some more The show last night. Snack. It was a flick stat. Yeah. And it's so, just getting started. It's insane. Very show is a bug, baby. I know. Um, I just wanted to show you guys. So my one of my childhood friends, Paul, um, made this for me with his sister, and it's a box that holds like raw pre-night. Oh, I kind of just take it everywhere with me now, just in case. Know that. Why do you have 18 bags of chips behind you? We don't, we, uh... <laughs> Bro, I'm not good at the, like, interviews. Is this on point five? I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. To health, wealth, happiness, and a really good time. Here it is. What is throat? That was my f***ing tiger's eye bracelet! My mom got that for me! <laughs> Get up all the beads, I'm making a new bracelet out of all the beads. It's really bad bro, my mom got that for me! I can never wear white! We're gonna get complaint. <laughs> <laughs> I know this thing. <laughs> Looking to it too, like it's oh, so good. Saying. It's giving, it's giving wobble vibes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he did the glitch. Wait. Damn. Okay, he went above and beyond. Like for like he just. Absolutely. I'm glad that you said that. You actually believe that the visuals are very important. Yeah, that, they are. That's... So I was way too tired to film. <laughs> last night um getting back home like i was just so exhausted so basically what happened is i we got home ate some thai food and i literally just knocked out like immediate lights out um but yeah it's also my birthday today so happy birthday to me um i'm gonna take this day to reflect and just think about all that i'm grateful for and um just vibe I'm, I'm just so happy the show went amazing. I'm so grateful to each and every single one of you who came out and supported. I loved meeting you guys. It's it's just like every single show I feel like just gets better and better and, and it always leaves like a lasting impression on my heart and on my mind. And um, I'm just really, really thankful. And yeah, I don't know, man. It's just life is so crazy right now. I, I, it's, I don't wanna say I never thought it would happen, but I just didn't, I don't know. It's like, it's like, 
it's like when you get what you wish for it's almost like you don't even know what to do with it and it's just like ah um <laughs> but I'm, I'm so grateful and i'm so happy and i'm so excited for the future and just thank you guys for showing me love it means the whole world to me i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll catch you at the next show Mwah!